Do you know the facts about the flu? Do you know how to protect yourself against the novel H1N1 flu virus and the seasonal flu? Hello, I'm John Cicero, Executive Director for the Will County Health Department. The fact is that flu viruses will make millions of Americans sick during the next few months, and thousands of Americans will die from flu complications between now and next summer. Fortunately, there are some simple things you can do to protect yourself against the flu. A safe and effective seasonal flu vaccine is available, and a second vaccine will protect you against the novel H1N1 virus. During the next few minutes, we'll show you how you can protect yourself and provide you with the information you need to avoid a potentially serious illness. Flu viruses are spread from person to person by coughing, sneezing, and touching. You can help reduce virus transmission by practicing what we call the three C's. The three C's stand for clean, cover, and contain. If you practice the three C's every day, you are reducing the risk of influenza-like illness. Let me show you exactly what I mean. It may sound simple, but hand washing is the single most important thing we can do to protect our health. And there is a recommended way to keep your hands clean. When you wash your hands, rub them together vigorously using plenty of soap and warm water. Just 20 seconds of vigorous rubbing will do the trick. Wash your hands multiple times every day. And don't forget to clean your wrists, the back of your hands, and the surfaces between the fingers. Washing with soap and warm water is always the best way to clean your hands, but alcohol-based hand sanitizers are a good alternative if water and soap are unavailable. The second C stands for cover, and that means covering your mouth when you sneeze or cough. Use a tissue to cover your mouth and throw it away as soon as you're done. If no tissue is available, cough or sneeze into your upper sleeve. Don't cough or sneeze into your hands. Flu symptoms include fever, cough, sore throat, congestion, achiness, chills, and fatigue. Vomiting and diarrhea are less frequently reported, but may also be present. If you have some or all of those symptoms, that's when the third C comes into play. Contain your illness by staying home when you feel sick. Call a health care provider to see whether there is a special course of treatment right for you. You can probably resume normal activities 24 hours after your symptoms have subsided. Viruses responsible for what is typically called seasonal influenza circulate during the fall and winter months every year. Seasonal flu affects people of all ages, but is most serious for older adults, pregnant women, and people with chronic medical problems like asthma and diabetes. The novel H1N1 virus is a new strain of influenza, which began circulating in April 2009. It is similar to seasonal flu in that it poses special risks for pregnant women and people with chronic medical problems. However, the novel H1N1 flu has shown itself to be especially risky for people younger than 25 years of age. Scientists have worked around the clock to develop safe and effective vaccines to protect you against seasonal flu and the H1N1 virus. Flu shots and practicing the three C's every day represent the main line of defense against illnesses caused by influenza. Remember, you need both a seasonal flu shot and the H1N1 vaccine to fully protect yourself against flu-like illness. The Health Department has been working with community partners on plans designed to protect Will County residents against seasonal flu and the novel H1N1 virus. Seasonal flu shots are available through the Health Department and can also be obtained from a variety of other community sources. An H1N1 vaccine will also be available at physician offices and pharmacies, as well as from free walk-in community clinics offered by the Health Department. These free clinics are planned for Joliet, Lockport, Plainfield, Bolingbrook, Frankfurt, and Crete. They will be planned for convenient locations so that people living in nearby communities won't have to travel long distances to receive a flu shot. 
The priority groups for H1N1 vaccine include pregnant women, people who live with or care for children younger than six months old, people between six months and 24 years old, and people younger than 65 years old with chronic medical conditions. Early clinics will focus on these high-risk priority groups, but enough vaccine will ultimately be available to take care of everyone who wants an H1N1 flu shot. Be sure to check the Health Department website for the latest information regarding influenza and the availability of flu vaccine. I hope you found this information helpful. Influenza will hospitalize more than a quarter million Americans this year, and it should never be taken for granted. However, we can all protect ourselves by following the three C's and getting flu shots. If everyone takes flu seriously, we can all rest a little easier. Thanks for watching and stay well.